Hey guys, today I am going to be doing a bra try on and review from two stores from Victoria's Secret and Soma. This is my first time buying and trying on bras after my breast augmentation. I am seven weeks post op from a mommy makeover and I got 600 cc saline implants high profile under the muscle and when I went into the store I got sized for the first time after having surgery and recovering and they sized me at a 38 triple D. Most of us know how difficult it is to find bras that fit and that are supportive and the bigger you go the harder they are to find. So I was faced with a little bit of a challenge going into Victoria's Secret. Um, the highest that they do go is triple D. So they did actually suggest I go to Soma. So I went there as well. And I'm going to share the six different bras that I was able to find and share the pros and cons about each one and then my favorites. So hopefully this can help you guys find some bras when you guys are shopping. Starting off with Victoria's Secret, this is the first bra that I picked up. It is the Unlined Wireless Soft Lounge Bra. The size that I got was large, and the price of this bra was $34.50. I'm actually going to be returning this bra because it is a little bit too small. It doesn't, it covers my breasts all the way, but there's too much side boob, and it just doesn't hold them enough. If they're, it's not supportive enough. I will say that it was super, super soft and very comfy, so, this is a large, it does go up to extra large, so if I'm able to find an extra large in the store, I might give it a try just because it's so soft and comfortable. It'd be perfect to wear it around the house, just hanging out around the house. I am going to now try it on so I can show you guys exactly what I mean as far as the fit goes, and then I will do that with every bra after this one as well. Victoria's Secret. It is the Heavenly Lounge Unlined Scoop Bra. I got it in a size large to XXL and it was $34.50. This bra was one of my favorite ones that I picked up from Victoria's Secret. This bra is super comfortable. It's very stretchy. It does have um, pads that are removable. There is no wire but it's very supportive and the back is full coverage so if you do have any um, rolls on your back it smooths it all out and it just overall is very very comfortable it does come in a variety of colors as well if you want like a lighter color darker color um purple is one of my favorite colors so i decided to go with like a purplish grayish uh, but this one is again one of my favorites super comfortable highly recommend this one Victoria's Secret. It is a t-shirt push-up full coverage bra and the size that I got in this is the 38 triple D and the price for this bra was $46.50. Um, so it does have padding. It does have a full wire. Um, it is considered a push-up bra but it doesn't have like a lot of padding at the bottom like too much to you know, make you feel uncomfortable or make your breast feel like they're sitting right below your chin. Um, so that's what I liked about this one. This is actually the only push-up bra that I got, which before I had my augmentation and breast lift, I only wore push-up bras. So it is a little bit different for me just to only have one, but um, it's still very comfortable even though it's a push-up bra after getting implants and a lift. And I love the sparkles in this. Again, it's one of the purple grayish colors, um, but the sparkles just 
did it for me. Um, the back is not like really thick, which I usually prefer to have a thicker band in the back, but I did get some loose skin removed on my back, so I no longer have like a really large roll at the top, like right where my bra sits. So it's still pretty comfortable, um, even though it's not like a really wide band in the back. Victoria's Secret. It is the lightly lined demi bra. I got a size 38 triple D and the price for this is $54.50. Now I do still have the tags on this one because I am returning this one as well. Um, I love the color. I love the lace. I love how soft it is. It is the same material as the first bra that I showed the lounge bra. Same material along the band. Um, the band is a little bit thicker than the push-up bra, but I do not like the way my breast sits in this bra. It does have a wire. It um, is lightly lined with padding. There's no push-up at the bottom of it. My breast doesn't fill these tops right here completely, and it kind of makes it stick out a little bit, um, which I'll show you guys in a minute here. And this middle part where, where the chest is, is too long, it's too wide. And so it doesn't sit directly on my skin. So it doesn't give enough support. Just, I don't like the way my breasts fill out in this cup. Um, even though it's the same size as the other ones I got, it just, the fit is not a good one for me. To that store which I really enjoyed seeing that they carry bigger sizes for bigger chested women and especially after having a breast augmentation I feel like in the future when I when it's time to buy more bras I will be more inclined to go to Soma versus Victoria's Secret just because I know that they carry my size it's not something that's going to need to be ordered specifically for me. This is the first bra that I got. It is the Stunning Support Smooth Full Coverage Bra. Again, I got it in a size 38 triple D and this bra was $60. Unfortunately, I am returning this bra as well just because I do not like the way my breasts sit in this bra. It is a full coverage one. The wire is a full wire, so it goes all the way from the top and then back all the way up to the top, which does provide a lot of lift. If you need a lift, this would be a good choice for you uh, because it does provide that support. It is lined with padding, but there is no push up at the bottom here, uh, but the full wire does provide good support. I do like the bands up here are thicker and also the band in the back is thicker as well. So it provides smoothing effect, it provides a lot of support, but again, I just don't like the way my breasts fill in this bra. You can kind of see by this side profile, it points out right here. And so when my breasts are in them and in the shirt, they look pretty pointy and then the top here is flimsy because my breast doesn't sit all the way at the top so it's kind of flimsy up here and pointy so this one unfortunately did not work out so this will be a pass for me This is the final bra that I have to share with you guys today. It is the Lightest Lift Perfect Coverage. 
And again, I got it in a size 38 triple D. And the price for this bra was $58. And this is probably my favorite bra out of all of the ones that I've shown today. It's very comfortable while also being very supported. The bra is very lightly lined. There is no push up, there is a wire. It doesn't even feel like you're wearing a bra with the wire. That's how comfortable it is. The straps are thinner, um, you know, than I typically would have ever gotten. The back strap is a good size as well. It does offer some coverage and support. This bra, when I was in the store, I wasn't even going to try it on, just to be honest. I thought there's no way I would like that bra just from when I would previously buy bras, I would never buy one so thin. And I surprised myself when I tried it on. I was like, this is, this is it. This is my favorite one. And since buying it, I have worn it almost every day. Another thing that drew me into the bra was the very cute lace detail. It's not a full lace, so it's not scratchy. It's very, very soft. And they also have a cheetah print one which I'm considering getting when I take back the other one. I'm considering getting the same bra, but in the cheetah print, because it's also very cute. Between this one and the Victoria's Secret Scoop Bra, these two are my ultimate favorite. The Scoop Bra is to wear for, you know, lounging around the house. And this one is my go-to when I'm going out of the house. So definitely recommend this one. to show you guys today let me know in the comment section down below what was your favorite bra on me and do you agree with my decisions with the ones that I'm going to keep and return also if you guys have a favorite bra or brand that you guys recommend please let me know I am always on the hunt for a good fitting supportive bra if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already I hope everyone is doing well. I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.